Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at adding text after a number in Microsoft Excel. So for example, here I have a recipe nutritionals converter and I want to remind people when they type in an amount here, even though it's in the heading to the column, I know that there's a chance that they're going to type in, for example, ounces and they're going to get something that is incorrect. So I want this to read 5 grams or 100 grams or whatever, just as a reminder that that's the value the kind of unit that I expect them to be entering in here. So I'm going to type 100 GM for 100 grams. But you can see that this is actually messing with my formula. And the reason for this is that Excel is treating this as a word, just like January, February, flour, butter. It's not recognizing this as a number anymore. And you can sort of tell that because it's actually aligned it to the left of the cell. Whereas if it was just a number, if I just type in 100, it's being aligned automatically to the right. So that's not the way to add the letters GM for grams to the end of this number. But that is a way that you can do it. And obviously, if we wanted this to apply to more than just this cell, we would select all the cells that are relevant to this exercise. So we're going to select all of the things in this column. And we're going over here on the Home tab of the ribbon to the Number area. And we're going to click on this little Flyout menu. And we're going down here to custom because this is a custom format. Now I get to choose what I want my grams to look like. And grams are pretty small quantities. So I want everything to be just a whole number. So I'm going to choose this zero because that's going to be a whole number. You can see here that these have got decimal points and numbers after them. They're more complex, but I'm just going to choose the zero for this one. That's a good starting point to use. Then I'm going to click in here because I can type things. I'm going to add a space because I want a space between the number, whatever it happens to be, and the letters gram. And I'm going to put the gram, the GM, inside double quotes. So I'm just typing GM, close double quotes, and that's all I need to do. I'm just going to click OK. And you can see now that this number, even though it's 100 in the cell, it's got the GM after it. And if I have 50 grams of butter, I'm just going to type 50 in. And it's telling me that 50 grams of butter is actually going to be about the same calories as 100 grams of flour. And if I've got, say, 10 grams of milk, then it's going to be 6 calories contributing to my recipe nutritionals. Now, you can get back to this by just selecting over your cells, go back into the number. You can see here that this is now a custom number. It's been added to the selection here for this particular worksheet. So we could come out later and perhaps put a number in here of 30. And if we wanted to format that the same way, I'm going to select that cell, go to the little flyout menu here, go to custom, and down the bottom here is my custom number format. Now it's only going to apply to this particular worksheet, but it does make it accessible to you for use in other cells. And of course, this could be kilograms, it could be miles, it could be whatever measurement you're interested in using, but you can attach it after a number in a cell so that the numbers still add up and multiply and do whatever they need to do. But you're going to do it with a custom number format, simple to do once you know how. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.